In archaic times, a newborn, star-covered raven spirit is born from a Native American Dine tribe. She is named Aje, whose name means my heart. Her father is the strong and proud eagle spirit Adza, but her mother is never talked about and is a mystery to the people. She is stolen from her home at the age of eight and must learn to survive in an untamed primitive world filled with giant monsters, fierce serpents, and fiery demons. She is found in the tropics of Mexico by the winged serpent god Quetzalcoatl, who takes in the young raven spirit as a niece and raises her to be a strong Aztec warrior and a promising Totocata painter. He and his brother Xotl watch carefully as the young raven shows signs of being an ill to the jaguar Tezacatlipoca. In fear, she may easily be influenced to become evil. They begin to seek help from friends. When a council is held among the gods of the world, Quetzalcoatl learns that the girl's true parentage may be detrimental to the current balance of good and evil, and he is forced to forfeit her to the gods of another pantheon. After this day, AJ continues to be passed on between two pantheons, earning herself beautiful names and titles as she travels from Africa to Eastern Asia. With this fame, her original kidnappers learn of her succession and once more violently arrest and condemn the girl to die in a demon-infested Arctic. Using a spell to confine her to the reaches of the Aurora Borealis, AJ must sear away the kind and gracious part of her soul to survive. There, in the darkness of the frozen tundra, both friends and enemies await her arrival into Midgard. Ooh.